All right, welcome to the Norris, Jeremy, and Ryan O'Shea show. And today's topic is what keeps a relationship going, and what keeps the fire in a relationship. So we all three of us are going to give a, a point of how we think, you know, what what we think is keep the relationship on fire. Well, my my thing is, both you guys have an equal understanding, standing, and um, like she keeps you happy, you keep her happy. Um, don't be on each other bumper at 24-7. Okay. Don't be calling. Don't be, you know, yeah, you call at least, or text, you know, out of the whole 24 hours, at least I'll three, four, probably, five times. i say probably call, like, probably twice. Yeah, like about, three, twi- probably twice or three times a day, but I think texting is good, you know. Text, you can text yeah, because that's you know that's more popular for people to text you know, text and, on, text on and a couple of things is to uh keep keep your business to yourself and not to other people. Yeah, that's a good one. Because like once you get your homegirls and your friends involved, then they have they they have they um what's that word I'm looking for uh point different point of views. Now you listening to her, oh girl, you right, huh? Oh, you right. Now you listening to your boy. And he said, man, man, she doing you wrong. Woo, 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 or, woo, woo, you need to get rid of her. Woo, woo. So keep your keep your relationship, keep your problems in between you guys. You guys as grown people, as grown adults, work it out. And that's about it, you know. So, Jimmy. I, I agree with everything you said. I really want to say I, I agree with everything you just said, dude. Everything. Right. Well, honestly, uh, to keep a stable relationship, it takes a lot. Um, yeah, right. It takes a lot of energy, just time. You got to have patience. Um, it takes a lot of patience. You know what I mean? You got to learn how to be able to deal with uh, attitudes. You got to know how to um, communicate. Uh, trust. You need trust. There is no love. That's the big. That's yeah. That's the biggest. Yeah, that's trust the biggest like thing. The biggest one of them all. Uh, without trust, you don't have a. It ain't go. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. I mean, it will never work. I don't care how many fights you have and how many times you guys talk it through, and you know what I'm saying, and make it over that mountain. If you don't have trust, there's still gonna be another mountain ten feet ahead of you, taller than the last one. You know what I'm See, saying? my thing is, why get into a relationship, and if you are gonna keep saying, oh well, in the past I've been hurt. He told me this so many times, and why get in a relationship? Why, why even do that? Why and then why always compare the new dude to the old dude? You feel me? I feel like you should try it instead of always knocking it. Try it first, and then you know you eventually see the outcome of the person within a few, you know, a few months. Just talk to the dude for a couple of good months, check him out. You don't got to jump in a relationship right with him, but date him, check him out, and see what you're all about, and then you know. He approved, he'll show himself to you, basically. He'll really show himself to you within a few months. That's what I think. But, you know, not to jump off subject. He, like like Ron said, it do take a lot of energy and it takes patience. Because, to be honest, women, you women out there, you guys do have your attitudes. I say us men, we do have our attitudes. We do have our, you know, our, what we call, going through our anger, whatever, you know. We have our moments. Our like moments, that. you know. Have our moments. But you do have to have a lot of patience and trust. And what else do you, I mean, that's, um, about, I mean, that's about it. Like, Yeah, you know, you just got to have that, that trust, man. Trust and, uh, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta know your mate. And your mate has to know you. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't think you know the person. You know what I'm saying? They can't think they know you. They got to know. I mean, because anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? So right. Right. Say, hey, you know what? I just see your girlfriend over there kissing this dude. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know your mate, you can't say, you, you won't be able to analyze it in your brain correctly. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know your mate, you won't know if that's the type of person that your woman is or if that's the type of person that she's not. You know what I mean? And then all you want, all you're going to be able to do is go off her word. I mean, that's what you're not supposed to go off your mate's word because, like I said, that comes back to that trust. Yeah, thing. Yeah, but at the same yeah. time, don't be ignorant. You know what I mean? Let's know your mate. And see, that's what a lot of fellas, and that's what a lot of fellas, you know, make they wrong. 
They cause they they jump into. That's what a lot of females make mess up. Females at. and females and guys, it's, it's equal equal because I know a couple of times you've been with women and you've been like, oh, you was with such and such. Oh, really? Oh, you wasn't. Oh, my bad. Oh, but you should already know my baby wasn't with that cat. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. you said, you can't jump to conclusion. Now, as an adult, you can bring it up, but not be all rude about it. You can be, hey, babe, uh, I, I heard some things about you being with, you know, such and such. And not even what's, like what's that. You on, can, you can, you know? can, if you feel like in your heart, not to cut you off, bro, but you know what I'm saying. But if you feel in your heart that somebody did come to you with, with something, saying that you that they that they seen your mate doing something, and you don't believe that 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 that, that your mate did it. Right. You you can go go to her and laugh like, <laughs> babe, you know what? You won't even believe what this fool just came and told me. This fool just came and told me, babe, that he seen you across the street from the dairy kissing <laughs> on James and him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but play now, it off. Play, you know, it off. play it off. Like play you know what I'm saying? And then if she if she then and then if she if she don't laugh or if she do laugh, but then like she give you that look like, <laughs> and then you know, you know, that just means you don't know your woman. You know what I'm right. saying? But in any real any real relationship that's really trying to build towards a healthy relationship, it's just gonna good. laugh it off like, oh, what? That fool crazy. You know what I mean? Now, now, but now, now, look at it. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100. Now, say if it is true, a girl is so good at cheating and a girl is so good at disguising. She'll make you believe that she'll she make didn't. You, you she'll that make, she, she didn't yeah, cheat. my baby. I, she I didn't knew my baby wasn't like that. I was about that. to say that too. Whoa, whoa. Don't, let, don't let her fool you though. But don't let no women out there. Not, I love women. women are good. Wait, hold on. They, they hold on. good. They good. Women, the women I, have, I have been in a couple of relationships where I've been cheating on. But women are sneaky dogs. Point that's blank and simple. Really? But there, some, there's some women out there that's good. And there's some women out there that's straight dogs. Period. Point blank and simple. That's the wrap for this show. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Peace.